What is up guys, Beyond the Objective here, and today I'm bringing you my personal favourite classes for Modern Warfare 3. These classes should help you rank up fast and get you through that lousy prestige as easy as possible, so hopefully you do enjoy the video. And I'm going to start by saying my assault class, this is the class that I usually run the most, and depending on the map size, then this is the most likely class that I will run. And as you see, it's a Scar L uh, with a silencer, and I'm going to quickly just uh, go into it. It's a Scar L with a kick proficiency, it's a silencer and blue tiger that doesn't really add anything. And for the secondary, this is always going to be mostly my secondary, MP412 akimbo, definitely can't go wrong and it's definitely a great thing to have. And for the equipment, it's Semtex and Concussion Grenade. And for the perks, Slide of Harm Pro, Blast Shield Pro and Dead Silence Pro. The reason why I really like to use Blast Shield Pro is for those grenades. And because I really push up with that Assault class, then with those guys throwing stuns and flashbangs and stuff, I can't just sit there like a brick wall and take them out easily. So definitely a great perk to have, and all round a great class. Now let's look at the kill streaks. Ah, uh, the Assault kill streaks. that is what I'm using for the most part anyway, except for the last class. And the assault kill streaks in this perfect class is Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter, and AC-130. And really, the AC-130 is if that's a too high for you, then feel free to lower it down. Maybe the Predator Missile, Attack Helicopter, and the uh, Reaper or something like that. So, but really, what I would really do is use the AC-130. If you can't get it, then lower it down and just keep trying. But if you are better than a player that you can get the AC-130 without a problem. Maybe up the kill streaks to Predator Missile, AC-130 and Osprey Gunner. That's another great kill streak. I most likely will be putting those up when I get a few higher ranks and stuff. So definitely a great loadout and definitely one of my favourite classes. And it's also pretty easy to unlock from the startup. So it's definitely a great class to have. And the next class is the Rouse class. This class is what I mainly use for small maps and for getting the first blood medals. Definitely a great class to have and if you really want to capture a flag that quick, put this class on, sprint to it and with the blast shield pro perk as you really see there, that's definitely a great way to capture the flag also. So I'm going to let you guys know what this is. Basically it's the MP5 with the kick proficiency and it's rapid fire with the blue tiger once again, that's just my preferred camo. And again the secondary is the exact same, MP412 akimbo. But this time the equipment is a lot different, and the reason why it's a lot different is because it's a frag instead of a Samtax, but it's still a concussion, and you might be thinking, yeah, that's not really that much different, but trust me guys, the frag grenade will allow you to get first blood easily. If I'm running towards B, I can easily toss a grenade across the map with a frag, that is, without a sam with a Samtax, I couldn't really do that. So I could toss a frag over, and I could pick one or two guys off, so definitely a frag for this type of class is the best way to go, and I would not recommend the Samtax for this class. As for the perks, the perks is Extreme Conditioning Pro, Blast Shield Pro and Steady and Pro. Extreme Conditioning, you can't really swap that between that and Sleight of Hand Pro. But really for First Blood, then you are going to be one of running Extreme Conditioning Pro. It does let you get to those people first before anyone else. And it's definitely a great perk to have, especially with the Pro, because you can jump over obstacles faster, get in the buildings faster. And definitely something great to have. And for the assault loadout, the assault loadout is UAV, Predator Missile and Attack Helicopter. The reason why this is so low is because with this class I tend to rush in a very good bit so I don't really get those big kill streaks. I do end up dying every 5 to 7 deaths. So with the Predator Missile and the Attack Helicopter then that's definitely a great way to go because you will most likely get those and the UAV is a bonus. But if you have an IC-130 then you're not really going to get that so this is my opinion for that and like I said feel free to change the kill streaks up to yourself. But this is what works for me and hopefully it should work for you also. And for the next class, the next class is my burst class, which is basically a three burst gun, such as the M16, the Type 95, and guns around that perspective. And the main thing that I'm going to say is the gun, the Type 95 is one of my favourite guns in the game, and it's definitely a great gun to have in your class loadout. And what I'm using is the focus proficiency, basically when a guy shoots you, then you can't just pick him off easier, you don't really flinch, you don't move around. It's like hard and pro from Black Ops, and only it's a proficiency and it's not really a perk. And for the attachments, red dot said, pretty simple, but trust me, that does really help out. It does really improve my accuracy. Maybe not to you, but try it out. Maybe try the settings out. Just try a few different things out, and you should get what's right for you. And I don't like any rag to go, so I'm just going to leave that blank. And the blue tiger once again. <laughs> uh, for the secondary, the stinger missile is definitely a great way to go. With this class, you will most likely be sitting back. And if the enemy team does get some kill streaks, you can easily take those kill streaks out, get some extra points, and it's definitely a great way to have more XP basically so I would definitely recommend using the stinger it's just really something good to have 
And for the equipment, Sam Tags and Cussing Grenade, that's all really I'm going to say about that. And then for the perks, Sleight of Hand Pro, Assassin Pro and Dead Silence Pro. And the reason why I have Assassin Pro, trust me guys, I really hate this perk. But with this class loadout, it does really work well. With this class, you really want to be wandering outside the map, picking enemies off from a distance. Because it is a pretty good map, it is a pretty good gun from a long range. So definitely use Assassin, it does make you immune to count UAVs, UAVs, EMPs and all stuff like that. So it's definitely a great perk to have. And like I said, as much as I hate it, it's definitely a great perk. And for the assault loadout, the assault loadout is the UAV, the Predator Missile and the P of Low. Like I said, when you're using this class you really want to wander the outside of the map and you can pick up some great kills. So with a UAV, Predator Missile and the P of Low, you can't always be outside of the map. You won't really have to worry about controlling your IC-130, controlling your Osprey Gunner. It's just really you and that gun along with those kill streaks up in the air. So if you get the UAV, you should get the Predator Missile and that should get you at least a 7 kill streak. Then you can't really just build another 5 kill streak up from that so it's pretty easy and it may sound hard but trust me guys it is very easy if you get used to it so definitely I would recommend this feel free to switch up to the IC-130 or the Osprey Gunner but really the P of Low is a better option for myself and the fourth class is my try hard class and I know these classes before try harden but this is major league try hard in MLT style and really what it is is an ACR you unlock this at level 50 and it's a great gun, it's probably the best gun in the game which I've used so far anyway and with these attachments, proficiencies, killstreaks and all the perks it's just an all around amazing setup so that's why it is my try hard class and it's an attachment proficiency of course there's, there's two attachments and the attachments is a sensor and a holographic sight I'm not too fond of the ACR just really normal sight so I would really like the holography sight and I'm sure you guys should like it too so maybe try both out you might like one or the other but yeah just really try them out that's all you can really do but that's my opinion and I don't like any racticals once again and the blue camo of course and for the secondary it's the MP412 once again akimbo this is great because you can whip it out pretty fast that's what she said <laughs> and you can whip it out pretty fast which is just really a huge benefit considering you come up so close to the enemies most of the time and for the equipment Samtex and concussion and for the perks sleight of hand pro blast shield pro and steady aim pro one of the reasons again why I'm using blast shield pro in an assault rifle class is because I do really rush a lot up to their spawn and stuff so with the blast shield they can throw stuns, they can throw flashes, they can throw grenades I will be that brick wall standing there and they will not be able to get me or kill me or anything for the most part anyway so blast shield is definitely a great perk and for the assault loadout and this may surprise you guys but this is my opinion the best loadout and I can't get this pretty easy but like I said at the start if you cannot get this feel free to lower them maybe to the Predator missile, attack helicopter and the AC-130 or something like that it just really depends on how you can play and there's no sense trying to push yourself to that if you can't do it just slowly build your way up in baby steps that's all I'm going to say about that but with the Predator missile, the AC-130 and the Osprey Gunner it's definitely a great way to get an unbelievable amount of kills and the, the blast shield and stuff that allows you to get them kills pretty easy so what, that's all I'm really going to say about that and for the fifth and final class this is my takedown class really most youtubers and most guys in fact should have a takedown class because when the enemy team gets a chopper gunner an osprey gunner whatever you want to call it any kill streak along those lines it is good to take those down because it saves you a lot of deaths it saves your team a lot of deaths and it saves them from getting more kill streaks so all in all it's definitely a great class to have and it's pretty the first simple. gun that i'm going to use in this class is the pkp passion i think that's how you pronounce it and I do use a stability proficiency so that's definitely a great thing to use if you do miss the chopper gunner or osprey gunner with the stinger then that really can help you out because if you're aiming at it it will not sweat at all basically and it's definitely a great thing to have for something so simple and the attachments is extended mags basically so you can't put a lot of bullets into that if you miss with a stinger like I said and blue camo once again <laughs> and the stinger of course is the secondary it's a lot better than the javelin you get, you get two bullets with it and it's just auto lock on basically so it's definitely a lot better and one of my favourite the frag grenade, the concussion grenade and for the perks it's pretty simple blind eye pro which you really need because they cannot see you if you have that Assassin Pro so that no guys can sneak up on you when they have the UAV up because chances are if they have a Osprey Gunner up they are going to have a few UAVs up, count UAVs and stuff so with Assassin Pro you are immune to both and it's definitely a great thing to have and the third and final perk is Sit Rap Pro maybe if you spawn you run around a corner or something and you see a, you see a claim or something if you destroy that it will get you a little bit more XP it's just something to add on you don't really need anything else 
And the final thing of this class setup is the strike package, which is a support package. So the things you want to really run is UAV, counter UAV and SOM turret. The SOM turret can't take those down for you. And it's just really something to have. You don't really want to put on the IC-130 because if you have that class, you're really only going to use that for one second until you take that down. But you might get a UAV, a counter UAV or sometimes a SOM turret. It's just something great to have and it's something so simple, but it definitely does work. But that's the end of the video, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it. And there's a class is really quick again there you go so if you want to use any of those feel free that's not it's not my argument you can do whatever you want change anything you want but those classes are definitely my favorite classes to rank up and you can rank up pretty fast believe it or not guys hopefully you enjoy the videos if you like this video maybe subscribe to my channel and be sure to like the video it helps me out a ton it does spread out their wider audience and i do really appreciate it but thanks for watching guys and have a nice day and peace